Game of Death is a remarkably quick movie at 73 minutes. It's something, it knows exactly the type of movie that it is and it wastes no time really getting in to the meat of it. It's never going to win any awards for originality. We have a group of seven millennials who were just partying away at this house with absolutely no supervision, letting their id run wild when someone discovers a kind of 80s looking weird game called the game of death and they all have to put a finger on a, crow, a skill and they press start and they're going to get a game. Now this pricks their finger and takes their blood into the, the middle of it and out spits a card saying you have to follow the rules. The rules are you have to kill someone within a lot of time or someone in their group will die and they have to kill a number of people before the game ends. And their number just happens to be 24. And pretty soon we are seeing these kids' heads explode in terrific graphic practical violence. Practical effects are the mainstay of this movie and they are what make it stand out. Even though it has that kind of unoriginal story, it has a kind of energy and bloodlust that most movies would be envious of. And that's what really makes this stand out for me. You have a couple, uh, a brother and sister, who understand immediately what they're in and this is an excuse to let their psychotic tendencies out and if they have to break into a hospital and kill a bunch load of people, they are going to do it in brutal fashion. It is bloody, it is in your face, it is head exploding extravaganza at its best. I think Game of Death is utterly wonderful and even though, like I said, it's not going to win any originality awards, I can't remember a single character or their name, it doesn't matter because there are so many moments within this movie that resonated with me, that left me with a positive feeling, that left me recommending this to other people. That I can't help but say it's a fairly great movie. It has these odd side tangents as well, but I'm not really getting into in this review with the, the brother and sister that goes in a really weird avenue uh, and a particular scene lingers on it for way too long, but still it feels like that mo the movie is, is commenting on that, you know, that this constant excess, the lack of boundaries, uh, the excitement in doing things that you're just not supposed to do, it feels as if that's somewhat within the movie. But it doesn't pretend to have a theory or a thesis behind it. It's got no large grandiose plan. It just delivers violence and it's expertly delivered. It's brutal, it's in your face, it's shocking at times and it's just a whole lot of fun. Sometimes you're just looking for a movie like that. Sometimes it's late on a Saturday night, you're looking for something that's going to uh, keep you adrenaline pumping so you're not going to nod off, keep you uh, excited on the edge of your seat and with a super quick run time, with a super great and exciting story and plenty of wonderful effects, Game of Death is the movie that fills that kind of time slot. I'm a little bit worried it's one that's going to fade away or never really get the release that it needs but I know this is going to find an audience somewhere and I hope you find it. I hope you watch it and love it as much as I did and I'd love to know your thoughts on Game of Death. Let me know in that comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.